Life is about knowing that you're, you're bruised, you're battered, you have doubt, but you keep going anyway. It's more difficult to stay in fear. I don't have fear with speaking up and for forging a path. When you own your story, then you own yourself. You belong to yourself. When you don't, you, you put the ownership of self in the hands of others. such a pleasure to have you on Film Companion. You are an inspiration for women everywhere. Oh, thank you. I want to begin with something that Meryl Streep wrote about you in Time magazine. <laughs> and she said that her gifts as an artist are unassailable, undeniable, deep and rich and true. But her importance in the culture, her ability to identify it, her willingness to speak about it and take on responsibility for it is what marks her for great. Oh, that's perfection. <laughs> it's just like, it's very I want touching. to ask you, how challenging has it been for you, um, through your art, to constantly bat for the larger cause of women, for the larger cause of black artists? It's more difficult to not say anything. It's more difficult to stifle my voice. Um, it's more difficult to stay in fear. I don't have fear with speaking up and for forging a path. Um, here's the thing. We have a culture that has a very definitive idea of who we are as black women. And so when you create any sort of narrative out there that is antithetical towards that, then you're going to get pushed back. You're going to fight. So the fight is continual. It is. It's a fight. It's a fight. You know what? It's a fight. It's a fight. It's a fight about just speaking your truth. And then once you beat down and you're knocked down, you got to get back up and go at it again. You know, I keep saying the quote that the soldier doesn't fight because he hates what in that what is in front of her. The soldier fights because they love what they left behind. You got to free others. So is it difficult? Yes, but it's more difficult to not fight. It's more difficult to be in spaces where you're not seen, where you're invisible, where literally the energy in the room and the energy in the business is, is, is buoyed by your silence. Is built on your silence. So that is what is difficult. Speaking of soldiers, uh, you were so formidable in The Woman King. <laughs> oh my God, uh, what a performance. And, and I couldn't help thinking, you did most of those stunts yourself, right? Yeah. And did you have a day when you said to yourself, I am bruised, I am battered, I already have an Oscar. A Tony, <laughs> an Emmy, a Grammy. Mm -hmm. Why am I putting myself through this? Did you ever have that moment? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have those moments every day. How do you get through it? You do. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was really reading something about um, that life isn't always about healing. You heal and then you feel better, so you go at it again. Life is about knowing that you're, you're bruised, you're battered, you have doubt, but you keep going anyway. You know, it's sort of like what they say about courage is just fear said with prayers. Um, it is a part, it's occupational hazard to doubt why you make choices. I don't care what anyone says. They're not gonna say it in public because everybody wants, people love perfectionism and they love certainty but it's a part of life to doubt. So you just let it live in that space, but you don't let it overtake you. Because also what was going on with that thought was, oh my God, we're gonna shift the world. 
oh my God, look at Lashana and Sheila and Tuso and Jamie and Adrian and Shioma and all these black women that are, that are gonna be highlighted. Oh my God, we're on the motherland. Oh my God, look what I have accomplished. And, it, and those thoughts are occupying the same space of, why am I doing this? I'm 57. Oh, my, I got tendonitis. So you just keep going. That's all you do. <laughs> That's so fabulous. Uh, you know, your character says in one scene, to be a warrior, you have to kill your tears. Yeah. Is that also true for women in the entertainment business? I you have to kill your tears. I completely disagree with that. You don't? Oh, no, I disagree with what Naniska says. Oh. I think that she says it because that's her truth at that time. She's speaking as a survivor of sexual assault. You know, um, I don't think that they were terribly progressive in terms of mental health in 1826 when it comes to um, surviving that. So she was just speaking her truth. Her truth is not necessarily the truth. You have to tap into your vulnerability in order to survive. Vulnerability is strength. Owning your story is strength. When you own your story, then you own yourself. You belong to yourself. When you don't, you, you put the ownership of self in the hands of others. So I know I don't encourage my daughter to kill her tears, you know? because otherwise they're gonna go somewhere. Yeah. And where those internal tears go is something that's so absolutely brutal that I think it stunts a life. Yeah. So lean into the tears as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Finally, how do you think L'Oreal's Lights on Women Award will help to create a more equitable space for women? I think it's important for us to be highlighted there is still such a huge deficit. So many people standing on the periphery who just want to be seen. They want their, they want their art to be seen. They want their skill to be seen. Um, and once again, there is power in representation. And the power is, is that I know what happened when I saw Miss Tyson when I was six, seven years old. I mean, literally, it is an, a beautiful alchemy, you know? It's an elixir. It can catapult you out of a space that it can catapult you out of quicksand. And that's what we need as women. We need, uh, what, what, it's a famous uh, Shakespeare quote, oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. You know, we need that muse. We need it, otherwise we're invisible. And, and we don't feel like we're worth it when we're invisible. This is so inspiring. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you and, and I hope you come and visit India someday. Oh, I would love to. Really? Oh my goodness, yes. That's Absolutely. wonderful. Okay, we have to make that happen. Yes. We have to manifest that and make it happen. But thank you and have a great festival. Thank you. Thank you. You've been watching FC at Cannes 2023 in association with travel partner Air France, smartphone partner Google Pixel, beauty partner L'Oreal Paris, media partner NDTV and travel trend partner Skybags.